Let's see what I collected. Let's see. Oh, this looks cool. What's this? The Crooked Lair. Oh, it's a church. Uh... He killed his wife and child. Wow. The Jersey Devil! What's this? Oh yeah, silver bullets. Snow? Why is snow here? Oh. Alright. Let's just make sure everything's going like it's supposed to, as always. Alright. Let's do the final chapter! I mean, your eyes, and the teeth, you're not really supposed to do that, are you? <laughs> not if I can avoid it. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us, the strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, God! Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. I just spawned a continuity er error. Um, in none of those, after we saw, like, what would be after um, him being shot? Did he have any bandages on him? Like, any at all. And I'm pretty sure I have one on my left arm and uh, a little X patch on uh, my neck. And those weren't there in any of those cutscenes. That's pretty funny. Can you not get shot in those? Because usually they do the, the best termed ones for those. You've come a long way. You must be tired. Can we handle this nicely? And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently.
Please, Sheriff. Relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. I'm here for one reason. I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Mm. Yeah. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It okay. would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. Uh, you tried you to kill- Forget what happened at the pudding and pie. You and your goons tried to kill me. I'm truly sorry for that whole debacle. It was not my intention to put you or Miss White in any sort of danger. My wish was merely to take Crane, Sheriff. And as soon as the assignment grew out of control, I put a stop to it. I know that that doesn't change what happened to you. And I can only offer my sincerest apologies. Crane wasn't yours to take. I apologize if I overstep my bounds. Won't happen again. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. Yeah, I realize that. It's a very that. unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. Okay. I just want to settle the issue for you. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen, but... Who do you think committed these crimes? It's uh, been a long couple of days for you. Georgie. It was Georgie, all right. Well done, Sheriff. I'm sorry I doubted you. However, like I said, I'd be happy. I heard Stealth laughing me. Yeah, I killed him, so what? Why? Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? A Look, little bit. The fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fuck- All right, let's talk. You can't just hand me over. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'd give a fuck if I'm the one Who the shit do you think you fuckers just are? Just get the fuck out of I here. I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? I'm gonna hey, grab what the fuck? Three. You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? Get the fuck away from me! He's the one you fucking want! This could have gone so well. I but just you just had to complicate things. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh, you're here. Lovely. Weren't you in Paris? <laughs> Did or, I miss anything good? Or at the airport? I guess. Well, look at you all fixed up. Really? <gasps> really? We're all gonna hit on me now? Uh, this one. I can hit that one. <laughs> Take this. No. 
You're done, Wolf. Come on, we're pretty much done here. Uh, this one. No! I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Got him! Now! No! Put your knife down! Oops. Oh, God. No! That's it. This way. This way. Dicey. Yeah, I know. Hello, can I come in? Let me in. <gasps> no. Oh. Take him off. I can't. stab him that hard jeez
Come on. We can't stay here. Uh, hang on. I need a minute. Okay. Can you stand up? Uh, it's okay. Take your time. Slowly. Uh, oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. How did this happen, Georgie? Bigby, I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. You're gonna carry me? I could. Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Get out of the way. Now! No. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered... Of course it does. Those girls... So it's all my fucking fault, then. I you didn't fucking... Mean... Ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to! What did you do? You can't fucking blame me for that. Look. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <laughs> So he told me to take care of it. I think, that, think that I don't know what that them? means. Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. That's not Because it's I not meant. my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. You're still, You're still responsible. the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Ryan, believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. Ugh. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. You okay. could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me. If free Lily meant she had to die. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you. Wait. How is she involved in all this? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. I promised oh, you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. How could you do this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand. Nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea, a gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just 
If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. I'm not killing her. What are you her. doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. I'm not playing this game, Georgie. I won't kill her. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Of course You're you right. do. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian. I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't. Oh. Oh. Vivian, oh, no! Oh, God. Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Just... Jesus. Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... He liked her. Gosh darn it. Oh, fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. You're gonna die here. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. Um... You know the bastard deserves it. Okay. He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. <coughs> Good. Old foundry by the river. All right. Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You wanna finish me off now? <laughs> or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one. That's what you wanna do, right? That's not That's who I am. Not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. Okay. I'll make it quick, Brian. Right, Georgie. That's going to be hard for the police to explain. It really is. This is his car, it looks like. Still warm. He's here, all right. Of course. 
getting in. There's the packages. So this is where they've been sending these. Big B Wolf. Oh no. What now? The big bad wolf. <laughs> Where are you? You used to be something. You have a lot of pictures of me. Oh, that's a cute picture. I like that one. Wow, how do you have so many of me? And Faith, that's weird. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. this oh lovely you're making silver here really silver. the big bad wolf you really have to hide yeah I think so. it's about time you showed up I had to take care of some things first little errand boy that's nice ah big B I see you've made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> hey, I'm talking to you! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Oh, was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? Oh! Oh, come on! Is that the best you can do? Stop it! Where are you? Have you changed? Oh, she has! Yeah, come at me again. Oh, I 
Missed that one. Where are you? Come out and face me. Ooh, you look cool. All right, Mary. Probably not best to hit her. Is she a demon? Is she considered a demon? on top of her.
Zero days without an incident. You know it. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And yes. that's what I want. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I uh, will why? have a trial. The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Okay. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. Yeah, fine. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind, and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're oh. often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. Mm -hmm. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people, it's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? Yeah. My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? Okay. I'd rather not dawdle. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Uh, no. Hey! Let's go. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. Yeah. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. Well, I handcuffed him. I turned into a really big dog, too. He was super cute. I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... I got him. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's been hours. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes! What are you waiting what do you have for? To you say murderer! For my you boy, killed Lily because she was my Where the fuck do you get off? Faith? You think you have the right you to just do this to you people? Said, You're a fucking sir, crook. Yes. You should fucking be ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? 
Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder as of I Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Pordy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White, but I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. Oh. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? He is died. He still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where um, is he? Sheriff? Don't worry about it. It's done. Justice has already been dispatched. Bigby executed him. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't need change for this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And resisting arrest. Oh, yes. Now is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Second. Bullshit! Like hell you Stop didn't. Stop the charade. We know you're in- Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance yeah, to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? Because he gets to speak. The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where class. it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it, But we promised you a chance to defend yourself. And I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really going this to let is him about talk? justice. Well. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. Exactly. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This is fucking bullshit. For once. Always been a bit of a That's not what. Keg. Georgie George? seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Uh, it was a trap. You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. What's he talking about? I think you're done talking. What are you afraid of? Why not let an old man say his piece? 
Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. You're not serious! I know what you do to people, I've seen it firsthand! What you did to Faith, the way you manipulated her! Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to- I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah! That's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Who that was, was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs? The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? Yeah. What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Yeah. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? I know. Snow made a mistake. I have very good reasons for asking you to do that. She was working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane. And you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. Even though you don't know and half so of does us. the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. Do you really think the crooked man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over, and those girls will have their justice. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murder. was working for you! Bigby got a confession A that confession that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. Wow, what are you talking about? What, about, what your... about your history? All you've done to this fucking town. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just Of need... course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Where are you going with this? If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? I like haven't what? done anything. How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? I didn't touch him. Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that Bluebeard go? Bluebeard here that. That was Bluebeard. 
Not me. He was a murder suspect. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for this mine. This is completely different. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen. I Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason I mean, a certain we're level here. of privilege should be afforded to, to This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny? Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Excuse me, I, dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wanna... she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. My dear, I don't... Just know shut up! You... you enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. Oh boy. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, no. this is highly irregular. Be quiet. Uh... Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith well. and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say... And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me? Me too. <coughs> Whoa! So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're well. all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Yeah. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I assure not good you, enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't care. So we away. get rid it's of him. It's too dangerous. I want to imprison him. Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment, so I think this we- This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Let's we take it to have him. a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. 
He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. It's Noah. Just do what you think is right. Yes, sure. Um... Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. Lock him up. Everyone, I'm not this way. Oh, I get no say. Okay, you're going down the well today. <laughs> okay, bye. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. No. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be what serious. what he's done, you're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. Because just throwing him down the well is like, job done. I don't want him to do that. He, he needs to suffer. Work is work, I guess. Hey, Sheriff. That's the best. What's happening? Did I finish? Or did the game crash? I guess the game crashed. I think. Um, hold on. Lol, I think I broke the game. Oh my gosh.